oversaturated market, top tech reached, marketing strategy drift, user need, and we are not ready. These are the five reasons for this video. Now you can leave. Or if you want us to develop this a little bit, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk UAV video. This is Alex with Chivo on the camera. Today we're talking about five reasons why we think, believe and almost know that the Phantom 5 will never come. The first reason we just said oversaturated market and it is true. We've seen so many events, so many new drones, so many leaks in the past one, two years that we're just saturated. Nothing really um, makes us, nothing really surprises us. And DJI has really done so many things in the media for the past months that we believe that launching now a Phantom 5 is just, we don't really need it. It's oversaturated. Everything is oversaturated. And specifically talking about DJI, we miss that kind of hype that we had a couple of years ago every time they were releasing something because it was really a surprise. But right now we have also many other companies doing the same kind of events and DJI has done as again so many things in the past time that something new like the Phantom 5 which has to be one of their flagships wouldn't be Good right now. For the second reason we just said top tech reached and that's kind of true. Um, do you remember a few years ago when if you had the Phantom 2 for example and you jumped over to a Phantom 3 advanced or professional the the gap was so big that you could really expect tons of new features that you didn't have before but right now in the past year we have reached that level of technology that nothing really is again neither surprising us nor uh, making better improving the drone and nowadays new does not necessarily mean better and for that i could really challenge you that if i do film a video with the phantom 3 you wouldn't even recognize the difference i'm pretty sure with the phantom 3 pro professional and the phantom 4 pro hardly you would see the difference this means that today you can do almost the same with an older version of your drone than with the least of the last one that has been launched. This is very important because this is opening a broad new world of possibilities for the user to, you know, not always spending a lot of money in the latest technology. And for that, you have also to believe that now the second hand market is growing. Now that we have this technology and people are buying the latest technology, you will have Phantom 3s, Phantom 4s, Mavic 1s in the second hand market for a good price. And the uh, final output won't be that different from the newest. So this is also something very interesting happening. Marketing strategy drift. What does this mean? Well, in the past year, year and a half, almost two years, actually, it's November now and the Phantom 4 Pro was launched in November uh, 2016, two years ago. Since then, if we take a little bit out the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0 and the RTK version a couple of weeks before, um, all the uh, media that we've been seeing, watching, reading, that we've been getting overall has been towards foldable drones, traveling, exploring, making everything smaller, better, um, you know, easier to use overall. And where we could see this the best way, look at this. This is the Mavic Air and we have here the Inspire 2 controller which is actually the same one than the Phantom controller. Look at this. The controller is bigger than the drone. And now if you have to go out and go with this, the big drone, you kind of start thinking, okay, it's better actually to go for a Mavic. And do you really believe now that with all that media that we've been seeing I want to buy a Phantom 5 this big with such a controller it's just going like back in time they've been telling us to seize the moment to go for the adventure and all that how can I seize the adventure and go on holiday with a backpack like this one of those cases that we have before I want to go with this and a controller I go with this this is all I need to carry now Phantom it's gonna be difficult for you and that of course um, means what is actually the fourth reason the user the user need is there really that user need i mean for the quality and technology difference that you're gonna have in your final output on your videos when uploading 
99% of your work to YouTube, are you even gonna see a difference there from a Phantom 4 Pro to a Mavic 2 Pro? It's hardly, it's hardly to believe. It's hard to believe, <laughs> sorry. It's really, really hard to believe. So, ah. And the fifth reason is that we are not ready. The final users, not actually that we are not ready, it's that DJI is not ready to create the need for us to buy a new drone. I mean, I don't really need anything new on a drone. Having the Mavic 2 Pro, having the Mavic 2 Pro with Hasselblad, one inch, all that, and having the zoom for zooming in, zooming out, you know, all that, I don't, for the quality that we're getting out of those drones, I don't really need anything. I don't see how you can improve this. And if I don't really need anything, how can you expect me to purchase something big that costs 16, 100, 1800, 2000 bucks. How can you expect that? That is very, very dangerous. And that is something that I'm pretty sure DJI has been thinking about, but they have not created us that hype. And they will have to work on that. If you would launch a Phantom 5 now, or next month, or in two months, would it be any different from the Mavic 2 Pro? Would it be better? Why? I mean, there are a couple of things that we could imagine that we could like on a new Phantom 5, for example, uh, the foldable gear, a second controller, uh, 360 camera or interchangeable lenses, but for each one of those things that I just told you, I can have an argument against it. So I don't really know. There is an open door, we're gonna leave that open door, but we don't think that anytime soon the Phantom 5 is coming. And remember that we made a video on April this year talking about why we thought the Phantom 5 was not coming. That video out there is complementary to all that we are saying here, so make sure to check it out. And nothing really else to say. What do you think about what we just said? Do you agree? Don't you agree? Leave the thumb, please, if you thought that this was interesting, entertaining and helpful. And also for Chivo on the camera. And leave a comment if you think, no, no. Phantom 5 is coming or no, I don't even want to buy it. Let us know because we're going to have a nice discussion and maybe next video we're going to talk about everything that you just said. So thanks very much. Nothing really else to say. Always remember to keep calm and talk to you again.